Okay, all right. I am so excited for this one. This is the Google Pixel Book unboxing. Just look at that beautiful packaging. I am really impressed with Google this year with their hardware. Just, just look at this box. Look at the attention to detail. This is really, really nice. And it really does turn heads. Look at this. This is the Pixel Book. This is the $999 one with the 7th Gen Intel Core i5 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabyte SSD on here. So it's the lowest end model that they sell for $1,000, but the unboxing experience right out of the box. Whew, I, <laughs> I am speechless right now. This is beautiful. We pull out the device. This is the Pixel Book right here. It's an aluminum build. We'll set that aside for now and actually take a look at the rest of the box. There's not much in here, it seems. There's a couple startup guides that we don't really need. And then we have the USB-C, dual USB-C sided cables. So uh, this is exactly what they do on the MacBooks too. So you can plug one in onto your power brick. And speaking of the power brick, we have a very cube-like squarish um, power brick here and it is a USB-C, so you have to plug in the USB-C side here into this power brick. So USB-C to USB-C package. So opening up the, well, peeling off the wrapper, this is the Pixel Book. It's a 12.3 inch LCD screen and the aspect ratio makes it a little cube-like. On one side, there is a USB-C port with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then the volume rockers and a power button all on that one left side of the laptop flipping it to the front we have where the uh, lip is and then we switch over to the other side where it's a very clean experience all you have is another USB-C port so it puts the count to two USB-C ports on this device one on each side and then they have the hinges the hinges are very clean audio comes from the hinges on the bottom we have some rubber feet so it doesn't scratch the bottom of your device overall this is extremely clean look at that and then according to the pixel design we do have that glass window i guess you can call it man there's something about this this laptop just it just looks and feels really premium and i, I just can't explain it the display itself is a quad hd 2400 by 1600 screen that's good for 235 ppi so far, I've only had it for about a day. It's been sharp, it's been nice to use. It's it's a very nice display. We're gonna have to take a look at it more. Of course, this thing can flip all the way back, make it into a tablet mode, a tent mode. Uh, it, it's interesting to see as well that the, um, the hinge doesn't actually close the screen all the way down because there is a little bit of a uh, gap in between on the sides. And speaking of the hinges, the hinges is actually where the audio comes out. The audio so far, it's been decent sounding audio. I kind of enjoy the audio right now. We got to test it more during our review period. Keys are also pretty good. I actually really like the typing experience. It's a little mushy, but it's clicky enough. It's soft pressing keys. I really do like the keys. And they do have a couple special shortcuts for you uh, to use that we'll take a look at uh, really soon. But the keys are pretty nice same with the trackpad the trackpad is a really nice glass trackpad i have to say apple makes the best trackpads out there but this is a close second uh this is a really good trackpad the gestures are nice the, it feels really nice on your fingers so far i'm really enjoying the trackpad and as i was saying there are a couple shortcut buttons there is a google assistant button and also of course um with the new chrome os's the new updates other chromebooks have gotten it we have the app dock or the the new shortcut that you could swipe up there's actually a physical button now that you can have your app drawer uh so yeah the google assistant there is a button as well you can actually voice command it as well using the okay google command so yeah i mean the google assistant on this it's terrific i've actually been using it a little bit already and this is almost as good as it is on the phone and overall this experience has been really fluid at the moment at least uh, i've just been playing around with it I went over this past weekend uh, to cast and I was using this instead of my MacBook. And I have to say it was actually really quick. I had, um, I think about six or seven tabs open. I'm trying to reenact this right now, but uh, a lot of tabs open and it was just switching between them really quickly. This is one of the quickest Chrome OS experiences I have ever had. And obviously I'm paying a lot of money for it. 
uh, but it is a little quicker than what I remember the Chromebook Pixel to be. And at, at that time, I thought that was an amazing experience as well. So, I mean, I do see the little level gaps uh, of increases for performance. Obviously, I hope, hopefully that's the case. You're paying so much money for it. But yeah, display is good. Performance so far, uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, Android apps are also on this. I did not have this on the Chromebook Pixel because I had the first gen one. We didn't have Android apps transferred over there. But uh, there are Android apps on here and I haven't had a chance to use my entire suite of apps, but I have played a little bit with it the last day and uh, apps seem to run pretty well for the most part. And the integration with this particular hardware is not too bad too. Whereas I didn't really enjoy playing certain games on the Chromebook Plus. So far so good. The trackpad is great. Uh, I can use the arrow keys to like I'm playing um, Pocket Morty and I could use the arrow keys on my keyboard and it, it works pretty fine too. Uh, only thing I hope they can incorporate more in Chrome OS in the future is for the ability to map keys. That would be awesome if you can map the keys for certain games or certain apps on your keyboard. That would be a terrific combination. But as of right now, I don't think you can do that. At least I haven't seen the capabilities to do that. But yeah, so far so good. I am really impressed with the I keep wanting to say Chromebook Pixel Book, but it's not. It's a Pixel Book. It's the Google Pixel Book. Got rid of that Chrome name on it. There's something about this product I'm really excited for. And, you know, that's just a testament to what Google has done. They've really upped their game with the hardware. I've unboxed the Chromebook Pixel, the Pixel C. We've done MacBooks. And I have to say, as of right now, this has been my favorite unboxing. There's something about that made by Google and that clean white box, it's it's terrific. But yeah, we're gonna do a lot of testing for this Pixel book. Uh, I'm really excited to take a look at this thing. And be sure to check out our full review once that's out. Be sure to subscribe, that's the only way you'll see the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell button below so that you don't miss a single video in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!